All right, welcome back to another fun-filled episode of Mike Reviews. I'm joined here. Uh, I'm joined today with Kayla. Hey. And Phil. Hello. Hey, how are you both? Fine. I'm, I'm really wonderful. Good. I just got my vaccine, my first shot vaccine. So you got your first shot, not the Johnson and Johnson. You got a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got one that doesn't, you know, harm me. Yeah. Yeah. No blood clots over here. <laughs> Speaking Perhaps. of blood clots, uh, we watched Hitcher. Is it The Hitcher or is it Hitcher? <laughs> the Hitcher. The Hitcher. The Hitcher? Yeah, I think. Okay. Um, yeah, this is one of my favorites as a kid, so this is one I recommended. This, this is probably one of my first VHSs I ever put. <laughs> really? Yeah. My I... brother was a big horror buff, so like, okay, he yeah. had a bunch of random stuff. I had never seen this. I think I had heard of it, but if I, if, if when Kayla recommended it, if I had to guess what the movie was about, I probably would have been wrong. <laughs> I watched the trailer before the movie. So I went into this cold. I did see the trailer and I got a feel for what to expect. Now, again, this is a, is this 86? So that's 40 ish years or 30 some. I can't. 35. Yeah. <laughs> 35. It was a 35 was year like, old movie. I was like, holy shit, I'm 40, dude. Like, what the <laughs> hell is going on? For real? Like, what? I'm like, wait, yeah, okay, yeah. I should have just <laughs> done that. But I have a hard time remembering how old I am sometimes, too. So if I would have just thought, well, what year was I born? Subtract one. <laughs> That's what I know. Okay, no. Anyway, uh, I went into this cold. I know. I knew Kayla really liked it. So I kind of expected it to be good. And uh, to be honest, uh, it, it was it was pretty damn good, but not without some flaws that I think uh, are very, very um, uh, apparent in the year 2021. Yeah, yeah um, for sure. Look, looking back now, uh, it isn't as good as I remember. Nothing and, ever is. Uh, um, yeah. They made there are some questionable choices, to say the least. Yeah, and you know and, and it was a, a different of, time, and a little bit of overacting by Soul Man C. Thomas Howell. You bitch, you stole my fucking joke. <laughs> you, she stole my I You know what? That's bullshit. Wait, what's it? Are you can cut it? it. You could cut this. Okay, I'm, fine. I might. I <laughs> might. So, uh, we start the movie off, and uh, Soul Man here is uh, <laughs> smoking an indoor cigarette. <laughs> Trying to stay awake as he's driving across the desert. And uh, he stops when he sees a hitchhiker. And he's like, this is a good idea. I'm going to pick this guy up because I'm a nice fella. And maybe he'll help me keep, help me stay awake. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what... that's logical, I think. Kind With, of. In less than, uh, you know, less than, like, less than 10 minutes, I think, the hitcher says he's going to brutally murder this young man. And start scaring the bejesus out of him, and it's actually well, pretty let's, damn let's, scary. Let's start where th that the guy doesn't even say anything when he gets in his car and just <laughs> starts start sneezing. Just oh sneezes. my god, yes. <laughs> yes. Sneezes, sneezes are sus. Come on, no, we all know that. Oh, he sneezes hey, you right need in a his ride? hand. Achoo! <laughs> yeah, he sneezes in his hand. Now he's 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 getting rained on, so it's it's all just gonna slide down. But then he's like, yeah. "Hey, I'm 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 Soul Man. I don't know what the kid's name is. I can't remember. <laughs> his name uh, was uh, was it Kevin or? Ke uh, Let me just pull up IMDb because I'm gonna have to keep talking and pretending like I remember their names. I know, it was I know the girl's name was Nash and his name was yeah. John Ryder. I thought his name was Thomas or something like that. Uh, the Hitcher. And we've got all right. C. Thomas Howell is Jim oh, Halsey. Jim Halsey. All right. Oh, that sounds right. Yeah. Yeah. And then Rucker Hour played John Ryder. Kayla reminded me that was the the the, the robot from uh, Blade Runner. That's right. Recognized him before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, dude, he fucking sneezes right in his hand, and he's like, "Hey, by the way, I'm I'm Jim Jim Halsey Soul Man," and he's just like just shakes his hand with his fucking snot hand, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah. It was the 80s, man. Free love, free snot. I think it's pretty funny that it's the movie called The Hitcher, and the, the, um, Rutgers' name was um, John Ryder. Well, uh. I think that it's... It, it, well, okay. It definitely is not his real name. 
<laughs> You're probably right. That, yeah, like, I'm gonna well, ride and when, kill you. When the cops got him, they're they're like, we don't know who he is. We don't have a prince. There's oh, his name's John. yeah, John oh, Ryder is just yeah, something you would right. tell somebody that you're about to murder. So, yeah, um, yeah it's just the part creepy of the laugh though really got me. Like still, like to this day, I was just like, wow, he just just starts chuckling and just talking about how he's gonna kill this guy. Dude, every, the movie gets straight about, to the point. Yes, yeah. I I I absolutely loved that. We like okay because good storytelling. As uh, as we get more invested in the movie and the character, like uh, um, uh, uh, Jim, the kid Jim, he's like, oh well, you know what? I'm I'm, I'm driving this car across country for for a, a, a job, and he kind of fills it in. Some movies would have spent 45 minutes going over like oh, all the classes he took in college and his ex girlfriend and how she you know cheated on him and he left and it's like dude just get to the guy fucking sticking a knife in your crotch all right all right, right. like it, the movie's tense right from the right from the beginning yeah. and yeah. and uh, Rutger Howard just does an amazing job oh I, for sure I mean he's yeah the he was star. creepy yeah he's the star of this film for sure I um, remember actually watching this movie when I was very young and you don't really see hitchhiking now but back in the day you kind of saw some like about like i don't know 20 years ago and i would look at my mom and brother whoever was driving i'm like dude you better not fucking pick up that guy like whatever you do <laughs> do not pick up that guy we're gonna I, die i so i never saw this movie as a kid so i will i will say that i have picked up not one but two hitchhikers while i was alone <laughs> in shady areas and both times, I very much regretted it. <laughs> One time was in the middle of the night, like a year and a half ago, at uh, at at our speedway right by us, and it was this kind of like, he he kind of looked like a crackhead, but he's just like, I just need to go up here, and I'm like, sure, get it. It's again, it's like 2 a.m. I'm heading over to a poker game, and uh, he's like, I'll give you 10 bucks if you drive me here. I was like, okay, okay, sure. Now I had two grand cash in my pocket that I didn't think about until after he got <laughs> in the car. And I'm like, man, I hope this guy doesn't like stick me up, but like, you know, I'm not going to judge someone. Maybe he's down on his luck, whatever. Long story short, he didn't murder me or stick a knife in my crotch. He just got out. He never gave me the 10 bucks. <laughs> And then another time, uh, the other time there was some dude, I was on I-94 heading up, uh, uh, kind of like I think I got off on the Chesterfield there's like a Walmart near there the Chesterfield exit and before yeah. I got off on the exit I saw some guy on the side of the road flagging people down he had a bunch of shit on him and uh it was a it was a like an older white guy in like a flannel I was like this guy seems trustworthy and you know he gets in uh, like when I stop he runs jumps in the car immediately jumps in and he's just like um you know uh, I don't want to say the word but n-word n-word well, plural. N words, N words, and I'm like, oh my what? God. Now he's already in and buckled in, and I'm like, what? He, he saw me, a bald white guy, was like, yeah, I know how to speak to this guy. <laughs> he <just> starts <laughs> throwing the N word around, just letting it fly. What the fuck? And I'm like, okay, um, this was years ago before we met. Uh, <laughs> I think I was actually living at the the other house, the Wiseman house, the Wiseman house at the time. Yeah, so uh, I I'm just like, hey, uh, uh, okay, he's like, yeah, these guys, uh, they. They jumped me and stole my tools. And, and, you know, all I got is this empty gas can that I need, like, because I ran out. And I'm like, what? Okay, so you need me to take you to the gas station? He's like, yeah. And I pull over to, uh, you know, pull up to the Walmart gas station. And then he's just like, yo, um, will you give me your address and, like, $40? And I'll mail it back to you. I I'm, in the I'm in the union. I totally have money. And I'm like, what? And, dude, I gave him the money so he would get out of my car. <laughs> I, cause I was, I was trying to say no. And like, I could see like, uh, I was like, it was going to be, and, and I started thinking about this. Like, like when soul man here was just like, Hey, it's time for you to get out. And the guy looked at him all weird and like, and like crazy. And I'm just like, dude, I hope this guy doesn't pull out a knife out of his fucking uh, gas can. I'm just like, uh, sure here. And he's like, here, write that, write your address down. And I'm like, no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Yeah, okay. I'll write it that. No, I didn't write down my <laughs> address, but yeah i don't think i should probably be picking up hitchhikers uh yeah no no it's uh okay, i'm zero and two on that no right? i didn't get the 10 bucks i lost 40 bucks on the other one and then this movie <laughs> was actually pretty scary so that's three <laughs> three strikes yeah i'm actually really surprised that you did that to be honest i'm genuinely uh uh trying to be a helpful person like if i was stuck on the no, side I of the road i would be hoping that somebody would uh pick but me a movie up like this is like bucks. the reason why i don't do that 
I don't yeah. know what it is. I mean, I know movies are movies, but in the back of my head, it's what I think. Dude, I've had a um like an opposite situation where like I was catching the bus and I think um it was around here to go to like to work when I worked at Kohl's and it was like raining really hard and um some white lady pulled up and was like, Oh my god, it's raining so hard. You need to come on, I'll give you a ride where are you headed and I'm just like I'm so hesitant to like get in the car. I'm like, uh, you know what? I'm cool. I could just I'm I can ride the bus. I'm all right. You I know, know what you were little, thinking. It's just a little water. Nothing you were thinking <laughs> like rain. there's no way that if I get in this car that I'm not gonna be mince meat in some little white lady's basement in I mean, sixteen hours. I that sets me because I watch all these horror movies and Put I'm like, you know what? no, I'm basket. not, <laughs> I'm right. not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna end up in a hole in some old lady's basement because, you know, I can take a little fucking rain. Yeah. Yeah. But good for you. You're still alive today because you saw this movie and were scared of an old white well, lady. <laughs> well, no, I mean, she, she just kept, she just kept forcing it on You me, took the so ride? I took the ride. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But I was okay. Okay. I mean, I'm here. I'm glad you, you know. made it. Phil, when was the last time you <laughs> picked up a hitchhiker or were the hitchhiker? Go. <laughs> I never did. Okay. Um, I actually don't even think I've ever seen one, to be honest. Like, I'm, I mean, one time uh, someone was just like, uh, I was actually outside running around this area and they were just like, Can I get her? How far do you live from here? Can I have a ride home? And I was like, I live about five miles away, but my house was actually like three blocks down the street. <laughs> So I was just like, uh, but I just, he looked pretty, I don't know, man. He was kind of scary. So, so you sort of just Face started tattoo talking. scary, man. Okay. Oh my God. You started talking and trail off while you start, you know, idling forward. Like anyway, yeah. I gotta <laughs> go. So I'm what I did was literally kept running past my house just so he wouldn't like turn around and be like, just in case he was like, oh, I thought you said you live five miles away and now you're going to yeah. this house. I guess I'm going to murder you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> because Why of this guy. Because, dude, yeah. this guy does not stop. No. The hitcher, John Ryder, is just nonstop. Okay. Let, let's get back onto the movie here. Yeah. The first thing that, the first thing that I, I noticed was when Jim, the kid... He finds himself in a predicament where the guy's got a knife at him. He's telling him he's going to murder him and saying some weird shit. He doesn't tell the cops or the the, the construction guys uh, that there's a guy with a knife in his balls. Fair enough. <laughs> I get it. He notices that the door is kind of unlatched and he pushes what's his name out uh, out of a moving car. He pushes the uh, the hitcher out of the moving car and then stops. He stops and looks behind him and thinks, should I drive forward <laughs> or should I drive backwards? But I don't think he ever even considered the, the idea of driving backwards. Now, I'd like to pull the room. If you were genuinely scared for your balls or your life or both from a hitcher that you just picked up and you had regrets. And this dude just said he was going to kill you and you somehow got out of there. Tell me if you would reverse that car five or six times over and over and just make a fucking <laughs> mincemeat pie out of this dude, right? Well, I might do it once, maybe not over and over again. I'm going to make sure that motherfucker's dead. <laughs> I mean, well... Oof. Phil, but you with I, me? I mean, I, I definitely agree. If someone this, um, has a knife to my pecker... Yeah, he stopped. <laughs> maybe, maybe what you do, you reach over to the passenger door, you pull it shut, lock, windows up, is he still there? Okay, reverse. Just nice and slow. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, back and forward. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, he's still in one piece. Let's do this a couple times. Like, I want someone like Kayla to be like, Mike, you got him 11 times already, okay? He's just bush. Oh, but, <laughs> but, like, it's not unreasonable for him to be like, okay, I don't have to deal with this guy anymore. Like, I get it, and you, you want to flee. He's on foot, yeah. So that's the other option. Go. The other option is... You drive forward as fast as you can, right. and you make sure that there's no possible way that stop. he can catch up to you. Now, yeah. let's say within five minutes of this dude driving forward as fast as he can, my boy Hitcher does the same thing that he he clearly killed that other guy. He said he killed the other guy. You saw the car on the side of the road. He told the guy, I'm going to kill you. 
Uh, okay, so he's got he's got an ability to stop people and then kill them and then maybe take their cars. So it's like, all right, you think about that. But if you're going speed limit, maybe a little faster, you can. There's no possible way he could catch up to you. That's what I'm saying. Unless yeah. you stop at a gas station and walk around with the keys left in the ignition. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but. B with the exception of the indoor cigarette number two, that was the most uh, obscene thing I'd seen in the movie. It, it, like I probably the entire movie is that this kid, he was he was excited that he got away from this killer, and oh, go ahead. I was just gonna I'm just gonna try to defend him a little bit. Well, I can't defend leaving the keys in the car. That's the dumbest shit. <clears throat> like when you know there's a killer out there somewhere on the road. It's like, like leaving the bus door open when. Um, you're in a diner too. Yeah, they, do, they leave a lot of doors open in this movie. It was the but, '80s. It was a different time. I get it. But um, I did forget, like, about the whole dust storm thing. Maybe he just didn't realize. I mean, okay, when okay. He, but, when he but, stopped, let, when he initially stopped, maybe he didn't realize it was let, a deserted. Let, let's go over gas station. Let's go over chronologically what happened. He pushes the guy out. He drives yeah. forward. He's like, yeah, I'm going to live. This guy, you know, he's smiling. He's happy. Yeah. He's tapping along to the music that we, you know, we don't hear. Or I don't remember. <laughs> and then he sees the uh, station wagon with the kids, and they have guns. And he's like, hey, kids, I'm, I'm happy. Whatever. Pow, pow, pow. So and then who's the in the back seat with the kids yeah. holding the teddy bear? That's the scene that we're at right now. Yeah, but our boy it. John Ryder. Right. Now, this is before Homeboy before stops at the gas station. Right, right. That means he saw this guy. The guy looks at him all sinister, and 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 then I think he even stops. Like he, the the car drives past, past him. The car is ahead of him. And right. after, like, oh yeah, that's right. He he's trying to he's trying to tell the family, like, get him out of your car. You're gonna get killed. And he doesn't. He hits a bus. So the kids stopped for a little bit, but then catches up and sees the station wagon is on the side of the road. The family is dead. The guy is nowhere to be found. All right. So he's probably on foot and this kid decides now's a good time to stop at the nearest gas station within walking distance of this car and get out, <laughs> look for a phone. Okay, here's a phone. I'll leave my keys in the car just in case I really need to run and get in there real quick and oh. that'll help me start the car faster or something. Oh well, yeah, that was some dumb shit stuff. Like, yeah. Leave that didn't make sense. It, it would have been, it would have made sense if they were like, oh, he had to stop for gas. He was already on empty from the beginning because he was sleep deprived. But no, I'm just going to stop. I'm going to stop, look for a phone, because I want to report this family. I, I get it. You want to report the family. But you're within walking distance of a guy who you just saw murder a family and almost murdered you. <laughs> and that you. wanted to murder you. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I'll let it slide. It was the 80s. <laughs> was the 80s. <laughs> Everyone was on cocaine. This the John Ryder was clearly on and, cocaine the entire time. And Quaaludes. <laughs> And Quaaludes, yeah. Well, there's several scenes where Ryder is there, and he's just like, yeah, and, like, sweat is just dripping <laughs> off of his face. He's just like, yeah, you know, you're going to do it? He definitely, oh, man. Definitely, he was, definitely the hitcher was on something. Yeah, yeah and th no, and that that's great. Dude, I, I, I loved the character. He's just, he doesn't explain what he's doing, no. why. Yeah. It's just, he is just crazy, this man. lunatic, and you, we never find out why, and honestly, I don't want to know. No, yeah. But, you don't need the Hitcher's backstory or anything, you know. Yeah. So, moving moving along, we're close to the end of Act One, and uh, Hitcher Man has another vehicle. Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm scrolling through the movie here. He, uh, he runs oh. into yeah, Jim at the gas station and gives him his keys back. He's like, you left these in your car, you stupid fuck. But There's that's not this gas station. That's a different gas station. Oh, did we did we pass that? We passed the other one. Yeah. Okay. Do I have the chron? That's yeah. There. This. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Different. Yeah. This, this is, is eighteen deserted... minutes. Eighteen minutes in, the kids in that that uh, abandoned gas station and meets the the hitcher. Hitcher gives him a set of keys. That's obviously his. And it's just like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this dude like he just wants to antagonize him or or whatever? And yeah. I started well, to suspect what he wanted, what his goal goal was, was to uh, get it was to have the kid take the hit, take the blame for all the murders he committed. 
Well, in the beginning, when he's in the kid's car, in Jim's car, he says he wants Jim to kill him. Well, he's like, no, I want you to stop him to me. Stop him. Yeah, stop him. He's like, yeah. say I want to die, and then I, what do you want? I want you to stop me. And, and yeah. like, I wouldn't have noticed that if you didn't say it. And mm -hmm. well, yeah, yeah, so I think that's at the end. There I go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that. I mean, I think that's exactly it. Because at the end, you know, no spoiler alert so far, but. When he hands God him the gun, it. he it's literally a wants him. Five-year-old fucking movie, you can spoil it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. Well, you know, at the ending of the movie where he ha gives him the gun, I mean, he was planning on dying and killing that girl at the same time. It didn't matter to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and like, um, I mean, he wanted to die one way or another, but mm -hmm. like, he seemed like he wanted this kid specifically to do it. And again, we don't we don't know why. I, he could have easily done suicide by cop with the amount of attention he had with that girl. But I don't know. Maybe he's like, if I piss this kid off enough and ruin his life enough, then he'll be so he he'll, he'll he'll have to kill me, right? Whatever he yeah. was going through. But yeah, uh, moving forward, we're kind of into Act Two now. Well, he sees he sees uh, John Ryder at another gas station. Mm-hmm. The dude and stops again. Looking, yeah, and he's looking for a phone. But he's looking for a phone. I get oh, it. He's please. looking for a phone. There's no cell phones. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, the, if you have gas, I don't stop until I'm somewhere with other people. Or, <laughs> or just it, go drive to a police station. Like, try and find a police station or something. Or, yeah. I, I probably, I, I guess I would have tried. I mean, it, it, again, there's nothing, it, like you were saying, it's like a stretch of road that's like. Yeah, I think it's just like through a desert. Yeah, something. through a desert where there's nothing. And, right, right. Um, the, the, the hitcher uh, exp uh, ignites the gas station and Soul Man is able to run out <laughs> fast enough, jump in his car and his roll up his windows just in time to drive away with his car just slightly on fire the kid is doused in gasoline there's no way that he doesn't combust as well but movie magic yeah he makes it just in the nick of time right after he finishes rolling up those windows i just i don't understand that at all like come on just go just go like yeah. he has more than enough time to like start the car and go but it's like no i gotta roll up these windows first yeah and it's like okay well he is in the desert so it's kind of hot no. <laughs> yeah. It's like, but then it's like your car's then maybe the, your car would be on fire, asshole, if you fucking didn't <laughs> stop to roll up your windows. Like. Yeah. So I'm gonna put this up here. So, so uh, drives away. Let's see. Let me jog through here. This is where we meet. I, I did, actually I recognized her face, Nash, but I didn't know who it was till Kayla told me. Yeah. Jennifer um, Jason Lee. Jennifer Jason yep. Lee, which I've never been particularly fond of her, but you know she's she's okay. I, I like her a lot, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I, I feel actress. like she she only said her lines one time ever. Like the day they had to record, and she's like, <laughs> well, I mean, "My dad from here," and, she's and then young. She's like, "That's good. That's fine." It's... You know, after I watched this movie the recently, I was just like, "Dude, she easily could have been a killer." Je I'm sorry, the the girl could have been yeah. a killer. Yeah, check this out. She was, you know, he goes into this diner. No one's there. She's like, hey, this meal's on for free. And then like five minutes later, there's a, he's about to eat a finger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, hey, I didn't see the hitcher near that place. And she's the one that cooked the food. That's totally a health violation. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, uh, she like she's over there stuffing fucking body parts and feed into the people so she didn't have to bury him in the desert. I mean, that would have been I an mean, interesting curveball you know but. well you know because the restaurant's empty you're not making any money why the hell would you give this guy free food because he's cute because he's cute this did is... you see that mullet question oh yeah phil does he have a mullet i feel like it's a mullet that's a Are mullet you ser no it is it is not business in the front it's too long in the front that is not a mullet all right is... uh if, if you're watching this video now uh leave a comment in <laughs> Leave a comment on if you think it's a mullet or not. We'll uh, we we'll let our pole, viewers boy. decide. Does, does Soul Man have a mullet in the Hitcher? Yes or no? The Soul Man have Let's a see. mullet in Hitcher? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Okay, Definitely we yes got the results. Opinion. Yes, he does. See, okay, well, there's, there's, not there's a your finger, finger food. right now. We clearly see the plate, Phil. Okay, and she walks away from the plate. Yeah. The Hitcher clearly has enough time to put a finger on there. Yeah, she's yeah. That's that's well, obviously what happened. <laughs> but listen, listen, later on on the bus, she 
you know, all of a sudden grabbed a gun and, you know, pretending to, um, you know, all of a sudden not scared of this dude. She just met. She barely got his name. Now God, she's like, know, it would be quite, it would be quite the fan theory or yeah. like the, the reveal if like her and she the was actually were a like killer. a couple. And yeah, they both yeah. wanted to also. They both wanted like to die. I think, yeah, that's and, but also kill a bunch of people. Because I mean, when when it was time for her to take charge, she just yeah, like you said, she grabbed that gun and was just like, "Everyone free, motherfucker!" Yeah, yeah, that would be interesting. I would watch. I would watch that movie. <laughs> not. But not she didn't even Jennifer have a last name. Leo. Everybody else had a last name in that movie, except for her. Oh, she's just Nash. It's interesting. All right, here's here's another indoor cigarette. <laughs> right at the diner right before he's about to eat that finger mm. so we are now um, officially in act two uh i wa i uh looked up the wikipedia on this and uh they talked about the screenwriter and the original script of this and how like it was a lot more gory like they actually i guess maybe they actually showed the family getting murdered and um this scene in this scene, it was actually supposed to be an eyeball, but then they were like, "Oh, we need to tone this down. How about we make it a finger?" <laughs> well, oh, I, I think it's part it's about the same. <laughs> I really just wanted him to take a bite. Like he, know, he held right? it in his hand for like for two minutes. Time. He was just like thinking. He's like, "Man, I wonder where the hitcher is." And I just wanted him to straight up just open his mouth, just take the, a bite. The thing is, like, yo, he's sitting there. He's he's eating fries already. He's, he's lifted, he's felt the weight of a fry, and then he feels the weight of the finger. And it's it's not like the, the weight difference between, like, a pistol and a taser, where they're indistinguishable. <laughs> well, not just by weight, trained but officers, texture, but, though. Yeah, the texture and the weight of the finger is completely different, so it's just... But, I mean, come on, let's give him a break. His mind is elsewhere. <laughs> Maybe he thought it was the pickle. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... I'm 80s movies always give pickles with their it, fries and not burgers, so. Uh, we have to give them a pass. It's the 80s. It was the 80s, guys. <laughs> it's a lot of crazy shit. You know, you kind of, you make a free sandwich for someone, you put a severed finger in it. It's all just for a goof. <laughs> <laughs> I got you good, you fucker. You almost ate that finger. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> so, at the diner, he sees the finger, freaks well, you're out. you're going to show it or keep talking about the damn thing. Okay, there. I mean, I can't show it on show the movie. The I can't show it around. Oh, I to, okay. I'm just saying we can look at it. Oh, yeah. look, we saw a finger. Use your imaginations, uh, <laughs> all of our viewers. Uh, when this kid freaks out, he runs outside, and two cops come hauling ass and arrest this dude with with a bunch of force. They think he's well. I mean, they said later they don't think he's the killer, but whatever. They they arrest this no, dude. No, they think he is now, but yeah. Yeah, they can't take any chances right now, but they're pretty they're pretty rough with them. And then this is the next note. The next <laughs> note I wrote down when they shoved this kid, Phil, can you see the screen? Okay, yeah, and yeah, and while they're checking his pockets, they we see the yep, there it goes. Cook. <laughs> Dude, they they threw him so hard against the hood of the car that his foot hit the cop in the back of the head. Oh god. I want to know if that was scripted. Oh, no. no I want to know if that was scripted. Was that meant to like, well, okay, in the script it says uh, Officer Dickbag shoves him so hard against the thing, his the his right foot comes up and kicks him in the head. <laughs> or was that just like, oh yeah, we got in the scene and that was funny and we gotta fucking leave that in there? Because if that was a like that had to have been an accident. Yeah, that was an yeah, accident for, for sure. sure. But God bless him for leaving that in there. It's the fucking eighties, <laughs> man. That's how we know. That's how Look we know. Look at that mullet fucking... though. That was such yeah. a mullet. It is not. Look at the flow in the back. <laughs> yeah, we're on team mullet over here. Uh, if you're on Team Mullet, be sure to check out the website. You could uh, buy a shirt, Team Mullet. <laughs> Promo code uh, well, Mike Reviews for 10% off lot. your order of three mullet but shirts thing, or more. It, my thing isn't, <laughs> my problem isn't the back. Like, okay, the back is long, but it's like the front. The front is just too long. Okay, look, Kayla is in love with this fucking loser for Shut some up, reason. Shut up, I am not! Yeah, I had a crush is. on him, yes, but no, I don't anymore. Yeah, what? <laughs> What, when did you stop having a crush on him? Was it before or after Soul Man? <laughs> I don't know, probably after. Okay, so this uh, this guy comes to the precinct with four highly, three highly trained officers. Only one has a mustache. 
and uh, they lock him up, and he's finally like, "Hell yeah! Now I can finally sleep. I'm yeah, safe." Like, like genu like genuinely, he feels safe, even though he's still having like it's like borderline mullet. It's a little more mullety in these scenes, I guess. I don't know. God. Okay, so we agree it's a mullet. Fuck off. And while he's in the cell, he takes uh, he gets some quick winks, and he wakes up to see that the prison cell door is open and all of the cops have been murdered. So what does he decide to do? Kayla? Oh. You want to break this down for me? Because uh, I don't want to yell. I've been yelling a lot already. <laughs> what does this dumb fuck do? Well, for some reason, he decides to pick up a gun, but... Yeah, and get his fingerprints all over a gun because, you know, that's that's so smart. Instead of... Well, you said you, he should have just, like, went back into the cell and went back pretended to go back to sleep yeah right? that's and what i yeah because like, what the f what i was in the cell this whole time you know like look i get that you're freaking out yeah you see all these three cops are dead your door's open and then you hear the cops coming somehow they know about the murders and he's like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab this gun and run out and try and flee into the desert on foot <laughs> with several cops that are ready trigger happy to I, you don't have to say trigger happy cops. It's just yeah, cops. Yeah, it's implied. Yeah. But say cops. like, you're gonna take the gun and run? I mean, dude, no, absolutely not. Like, dude, I was sleeping the whole fucking time. And <laughs> yeah. I mean, at the very least, they got you in behind behind bars, so they might not murder you. Yeah. But man, Maybe. this kid makes some terrible decisions. And I'm not just talking about the mullet. Like, just everything <laughs> he's done. <sighs> <sighs> So yeah, you know he, he never loses his leather jacket either. You're I think desert. I would have dropped that immediately. Yeah. Like yeah. It, I'm hot just doing this, and I got LED lights. They they don't make any heat, and I'm just I'm sweating as much as Hitcher. Now look, <laughs> his hair is all of a sudden like back to normal in that frame that we just saw there. Oh, well, you know, he looks like he looks like he hasn't been in the desert all day. It's just movie magic. Movie yeah. magic, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, where, where, where are we at? Okay, he runs to this market, and he sticks up two cops. <laughs> and he, uh, he gets in their car and has them drive. He's like, yo, I'm going to surrender, but I need to stick you up at gunpoint. Because this is a good idea. <laughs> no. Not approach them and say, like, I need help. I need help. I need, you know, th this guy kill people. Like, yeah, the well, good idea is to point him. a gun in two cops' faces. Well, they're looking for him. They're just going to arrest him, I guess. That's fine. Yeah, well, what is it? What is it that he, he he gets on the radio while the one cop is handcuffed and the other cop is driving and Jim has a gun to their head in the back and he's like, yeah, get your captain on the radio. And he's like, you want to surrender and come in? And he's like, yeah. You could have done that by just going up and talking to <laughs> yeah, him. Like, yo, uh, hey, you know, please don't <laughs> kill me. Um, don't you don't ask for the in? cop's gun that's about the driver or anything, but yeah, I thought right, that the was... ones that actually have bullets in them. No spoilers or spoilers, but <laughs> like... yeah, yeah. So I mean, again, he's stressed. He's not really thinking. He's got to do something. He wants to get the safety of the police, but like this is the wrong way to do it. Anyway, after a few minutes of driving, he's like, "Okay, cool. I can finally breathe. They're gonna take me in." Boom. And then that Hitcher's... blood splat was crazy. Yeah. Yep. And and I like that you did see like right as the guy the kid was starting to relax, you see the the truck yeah. in the back window roll up real fast and I'm just oh that's yeah. probably him and then that two shots, <laughs> two kills, and the kid is stranded again in the desert and on then foot. He's gone. Oh and this this seems gone. really intense. His like face his like face. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, like he's kind of he's he's overacting just a smidge. And, and no. I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, he just the screams. Oh my god, run! Yeah, to run on this hill for a minute. Yep, but I'm not gonna take the jacket off though. He's like, uh, uh, no. Uh. I guess we shouldn't laugh, but you know, because this seems actually a little intense, but <laughs> no, it is. I like, I can feel it. I just, I probably wouldn't have been as much of a bitch. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, I would have been upset and making mistakes too, but like, I wouldn't have been crying, like, literally crying as much. I would, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. 
probably would have paid the hitcher forty dollars to get out of my car, maybe. <laughs> Do you think uh, if he actually would have pulled the trigger, how like disappointed he would have been when he realizes that he didn't die? Well, it, I, 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 I can't imagine like going through the action of like pulling the trigger when you've got the barrel pointed at your head. And well, I and, know, but you find out later there was no bullets in it, anyways. Mm -hmm. it, it, right, well, he does, yeah. But like it, you're saying, if he did it, if he actually pulled the trigger, like I'm ready to just yeah, end like, this because I want this hell? to be over, and then click, and you're like, oh my god, like. I, I I would feel super sick. I I mean I, I would have to like dude. It's I don't know, but so on this stretch of uh, Barren Road, there is yet another cafe motel that for sure the hitcher's not going to be at. So I'll just show oh, up here. Not. For sure not. And he sits down, orders some coffee, and then that's where you see the the hitcher <laughs> show up. Well, this is a surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like <laughs> he's at the brink. Okay, he's just... yeah, he's about to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> the director's like, "All right, all right, listen. Here's your motivation. You're mad. Go." <laughs> and he's like, Ugh. Ugh. "I'll yeah. fucking, I'll blow you in half." Hitcher reveals mm. there's no guns, there's no bullets in your gun, and boy, boy, does he look foolish. So, right, wait, 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 wait! I love his face when he's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. He's just sitting there, click, 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 click. Please he's find the bullet. Like, oh, that's so sweet. You're so precious. When the kid he finally, there was yeah, bullets in the gun. finally realized he's got he's gotten bested like 45 times yeah, in a right. row. Let me pause it. Uh, uh. <laughs> Tell you yeah, the truth, this a... scene actually gave me the creeps the most out of like all the scenes. Really? really? I don't know what it was. Maybe not it was more than like... not. Oh, go ahead. Well, it, in my opinion, like if I was that guy, I would actually think he had a gun under the table, you know? Dude, oh, I mean, well, yeah, I, I get sure. it. It's, it's a psychological uh, in, in terrorism, basically. And he's he's fucking with them past the point of no return. So like, again, him making the mistakes is very understandable. But oh, this thing fucked up. The video fucked up. Oh. Like him making all these mistakes is very understandable. It's just like I gotta call him out, man. You dumb fuck. Why are you gonna stop just, in the he, first he, place at the fucking gas station? You could have just kept going. I can't give get over the fact how creepy he actually was. Yeah, and he yeah. puts the pennies on his eyes or whatever. It's but, just like, um, dude, this scene like haunted you more than the scene. And you know what the scene I'm talking about, right? She's talking about the end scene, right? That yeah. she doesn't well, want to the, spoil. The Nash scene. I mean, that was a good scene, but I feel like this was like the the breaking point kind of thing for him. Mm. I mean, he's had a lot of breaking points, but I feel like this was the scene where he's just like, I I think I'm literally, I literally don't know what to do next, kind of thing. Yeah. No, and and like that's that's conveyed very well, and and of course. Hitcher disappears into thin air again because he's a phantom, I guess. But yeah, so he somehow sneaks his way onto a, onto a bus, hangs out in the bathroom until the bus takes off, and then Nash is there, and she's like, I gotta poop, but he's like, not when I'm in here, god damn it. <laughs> it smells bad enough, and she's like, alright. <laughs> so, uh, she sees that he's got the gun, that he's on the bus, and the cops show up pull the bus over and they're about to shoot this and, kid yeah and they're about to do some some pretty cop like shit and be like hey hey touch oh yeah they're about to like, frame him like right? wipe off my wrist yeah you spit trying on my wrist steal wipe my it gun off so i could shoot you yeah <laughs> and they're like now take it very, easy now skeeter we don't want no trouble very cop like yep very cop like <laughs> but and then the cops... serial killer nash shows up <laughs> again Wait, no, Save he doesn't show up, right? No, oh, no, no. Killer Nash. I'm sorry, yeah. yeah. Nash, yeah, she's just ready. Well, okay, this was this was what I was... This is when I'm like, they, they could have found a different way than getting her... Like, it doesn't make sense for her to grab the gun, stick up the cops, and then be like, yeah, okay, uh, I, I do believe you well, for some I, reason. Like she said earlier whole, she didn't believe him. Well, her whole motivation is like, oh, these cops are trying to just murder this man. I get that. And, and she's like, he's cute. You can't murder him. She's like, I love mullets. I love skinny white boys. 
it, it, it doesn't make sense for her to do what she did, but I mean, maybe if she had been terrorized and she was like twisted as well, you know, she could have had a snap. Like he would, he at this point could snap and do something crazy like that. But like for her, she's like, well, dude, I ain't getting involved. I, I just got off of a, a nine hour shift. Yeah. I made one burger, one fries, <laughs> one finger food. That's it. And I got no tips. And this motherfucker is yeah. going to come and stick a gun in my face when I'm trying to take a shit on a bus. <laughs> it's like, no, I don't know if he killed those people. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. But I guess I'll stick up for him just in case uh, of what, he's innocent. And then we just go to jail for threatening lethal force on two officers. So that's 30 years. Not for yeah. white girls, but. And the, the thing is that she still hasn't gone to the bathroom. Boy. <laughs> That I didn't even think about that. You can hold in poop <laughs> yeah. though. If it was yes. poop, you can hold it in. Yes, you can. You can. It's I unpleasant. guess it depends on the day, you know. Depends on how many fries she had. Or nacho <laughs> cheese or something. Nacho cheese. <laughs> Shit, dude. I mean, if she was sitting there just dunking her fries and nacho cheese that Mike gets from Costco. <laughs> she's over here just blowing loads in her pants the entire drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So we're up to the, uh, the the car chase. That's where uh, that's where Nash and Jim stole the 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 police cruiser, and are immediately greeted with like four other police cruisers, each with shotguns, and they're just blowing the fuck out of their car. Both Nash and Jim somehow come out unscathed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know where the no, cops she, learned she to shoot. Starts, yeah. Well, what, she she was about to shoot because he was yelling at her to shoot back. She shot one, but then she dropped it. I don't it. think she I'm did. Sure. I thought she did. Oh, no, you're she right. yeah, I yeah, I think she was about to, and she dropped it, and and like that's actually, such a serial I, killer move. Oh yeah, because <laughs> she want like maybe she wanted suicide by cop, and she wanted to bring it down and make it sound like it was a like it was a mistake. Dude, you got you're onto something, Phil. <laughs> you're onto something. Uh, 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 guys, if you want. Use promo code Nash to buy the new merch drop. It's Nash did it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, uh, two weeks it. only. Two weeks for when this post uh, is is posted. When this video is posted, Nash did it. I think Nash did it. I'm on the. I'm. I'm on, Nash did it, and it's definitely a mullet. That's what we're taking <laughs> away from this. You gotta have a partner sometimes. This is like too. How this is like too easy for them to always be in the same. You know scene spot whatever yeah yeah and like and like you know when i saw her drop the gun i'm like wow it's realistic she did she she just didn't know how to automatically like fire and shoot a gun these cops are over here blasting this car not necessarily missing but they're not getting the driver or the passenger they're getting everything else on the car and then if she was to be like oh man i don't want to shoot this gun and then uh, oh and then headshot 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 well she's definitely is the killer but you know like for her to like basically drop it when she right when she about to fire it because she's scared that's that's a little more realistic i mean look at look at that scene just right there she she looked calm and collected like she's done this before. god you guys stop it you guys are fucking crazy <laughs> okay <laughs> conspiracy oh theory nash, nash did not do it i right? think i think they probably nash and her boyfriend the hitcher probably stop. both had like really bad aids and they were gonna die anyway and so they wanted to take as many people out on their murderous rampage of love and suicide. Yeah? Oh my god, yeah. shut up. Hashtag Nash did it. <laughs> or maybe they were just serial killers from back in the day, and he knew that young boy was going to go in this diner to get her. Oh, and yeah, he knew. And he just wanted her, you know, to sign the divorce papers or something, but he decided to take <laughs> her out of the picture instead. So so they're just playing. He's just a pawn in their little, their little yep. love triangle. Yep. Man, I'm, dude, I mean, I'm liking everything I hear. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> shut up. Let's so, get, continue the movie. So as, now they got the helicopters involved. Yeah, they somehow get the, the, the cops to flip over their cars and crash, and they their car is fine. I don't know. That's, it's fucking stupid. But, yeah, they had to get ready for the helicopter chase scene. The, the, <laughs> the guys shooting uh, the assault rifles from the helicopter are hitting the car, but not completely yeah, ruining man. it or killing the people inside. Yeah. There's more cops coming. And when they're 
And then, up against the wall. Their their backs are up against the wall. They got nowhere else to go. Kayla, what happens? And Super Hitcher saves Super the day. Super Hitcher shows up, fires two rounds, and kills the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> he takes the chopper down air, like a fucking G. Just with boom, a python. Boom. <laughs> with a what is he? What is he shooting? I don't know. Like it's it seems like a like a pi like like a python type of gun. You know, like it's a, a big Magnum it's a big boy, but it's still a pistol. It's still a handgun. Yeah, like. I don't know much about guns, so it's, I mean, it's just well, you had it with one like hand. It's not an automatic type gun or anything. But yeah, I mean, he's a killer. He's got a lot or of practice shooting. Is. And look, look at and that. like this look does not. That. He's smoking. He's got the windows <laughs> open. That's not an indoor <laughs> cigarette. We only have four <laughs> indoor cigarettes in this movie. There's only four for the I '80s. I think that's actually that. kind of low. More well, I only that. counted four. Okay. I wrote. I have four on my notes. <laughs> but. At this point, I'm wondering when this kid's going to get out of the car and walk around again and give the hitcher another chance to fuck with him. And so the, the, the chopper crashes, mm -hmm. and it's I think the chopper crashes and uh, blocks passageway for for the, the, the new cops or whatever. Yeah, the new cops crash into it. Oh, one of them. But, you know, th these guys get away. So they take down like 10 cop cars, and hitcher takes down a chopper. Okay. That that that's just not gonna happen. You know? <laughs> but they they ditch the cop car and then run on foot into the desert again. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, I'm not taking off the jacket. Still on. Yeah, with the jacket still on. <laughs> and it looks like a truck stop up here, truck stop hotel. Um, he doesn't have any ID, but he somehow got a room. Maybe Nash got it. I don't know. Maybe Nash had it. Yeah. This is the '80s, Mike. Okay, <laughs> they didn't have it's credit cards or IDs. <laughs> <laughs> she has a point there. Definitely no. on that one. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. So they they relax. They're like, we can't call anyone. I, I don't know. What? Look how we, scary that phone was, man. Was that a rotary phone? Oh yeah, those things are terrifying. If those are in scary movies, the movie is actually pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, I don't. Cause... I don't get the whole like we don't we can't make calls or anything because it's not like Hitcher is a fucking cop or something or if like he has the phone bugged or anything. Like, there's absolutely no way that he could in that small amount of time like trace their call or figure out well, where their there, call is coming from. There's a couple things from. that are not possible here. And and I don't know maybe if maybe if they if the cops that um, that Nash stuck up if they knew who she was because it seemed like they knew who she was the, I guess they oh, could yeah. put an officer at her parents' house because she's oh. probably gonna call her parents yeah, and then that that's makes what she more does sense. I didn't think that or if way, she's but, on like the yeah. FBI's most wanted or something but, or if she's a murderer yeah and they're, they've been trying to catch her for years but for they, some reason like I guess I in my kid brain I was like oh they can't make calls because the hitcher might find them. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and what happens as soon as she makes a call, the hitcher finds him. Well, oh. yeah. which that which I was true. wondering again, why? Well, so he ditches the car, but the hitcher still had his truck, so he was fucked either way. Um, so I guess we, we just they don't yeah. show it, but we assume that the hitcher probably got a key from the front desk. There's we get or another indoor the cigarette, manager, probably. and okay. yeah, and then when uh when our our soul man is taking a shower. Uh, Hitcher <laughs> somehow sneaks in without anyone noticing and crawls into bed with Jennifer Jason Lee, and it—I don't know. She, does she notice right away when she touches no. his hand? Oh yeah, yeah. That when like your hand, hand is too coarse and it's not like a sissy boy's hand. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, it's you. <laughs> and I guess they didn't really show much of a struggle, so it was just like, hey, you weren't supposed to show up yet. This is the part where you kill me. Because this was the plan the whole time, right? Hashtag Nash did it. Hashtag. Yeah, she, she wasn't right. even asleep. Let's just skip to the scene. Oh, okay. this is where she calls the hitcher from a different hotel room to let her know that she's... <laughs> We're <laughs> that in she room six. She calls her father. <laughs> Who's her father? Well, <gasps> hitcher. Did, did, the, oh my did God. you see the father answer? Hitcher. What? Well, Something. I didn't see the father answer, but like she was talking to somebody on the other end, like like someone was there. Yeah. But it was what him. if it how did you get there it, so Yeah, quick? what if it was him? <laughs> you ever think about that? <laughs> I didn't know. I can't think yeah. of a good hashtag at a quick time. Hashtag uh Nash's twit uh I, I give up. <laughs> Nash is my father. I don't know. Yeah, Hitcher's my daddy. <laughs> oh, maybe it is maybe it is her. You never know. 
Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> he he hears the TV turn on and is like, "Oh, Hitcher's out there! God damn it! <laughs> She's not just bored. Hitcher's out She's there for not sure." Just bored. <laughs> and he sees uh, uh so Jim finishes the shower, sees the TV's on, sees the girl's gone, and the doors open, and he's like, "God damn it! I shouldn't have stopped again." <laughs> <laughs> And this and this uh this cut and this is where we right. see um the well the the big scene apparently that Kayla says everyone remembers and this is where Well, I mean Cameron brought it up when, you know, I I talked about thought, you know, talked about doing this movie but too. But I mean, I feel like this is the scene that everybody remembers because they do it so well. Like it's so well executed. They let the audience use their imagination on how you know, Nash is torn torn to pieces, and like that's that's the image that you have of this movie that I that everybody always remembers that I remember, and why I remember oh, it being Kayla, so good. Uh, explain the scene because we oh, okay. can't show it. Oh, okay. Well, okay. So he kidnaps Nash, and he ties her up one half to a um a trailer. What, uh, yeah, a trailer, like a truck trailer. And then the other half to the cab of the trailer or other the tractor. tractor. Sorry. And um, <clears throat> so she's tied up in between, and he's just like you know roaring, roaring the engine. You know, yeah. Like Hitcher's in the cab, just yeah. sweating like a motherfucker, <laughs> <Just> <laughs> dripping he's, with sweat. And, and the he's cops basically pick him up. has her hostage in this situation, and the cops are surrounded, and they're like. And he's he's asking for Jim. He's like, that's the only one I want to talk to. Uh, probably something like, I'll let her go if you get Jim here. So like the cops get Jim, and they're like, get in there, see what you can do, because you know if we kill him, if we shoot him, he's his his foot's gonna lay on the gas, and she's gonna die anyway. So Jim gets in the cab of the truck, and he's talking to the hitcher, trying to let him, you know trying to get her get him to let her go and he's just like he he puts a gun on the side of the on the seat next in between them and he's like kill me shoot me put it up to my head yeah yeah and he's like dead serious he wants him to shoot him in the head but like it's yeah. a lose lose it's right. either she you don't kill dies. him and yeah. he, he he drives forward and rips her in half or you do kill him and he'll he'll go limp and then he'll take his foot off the clutch and he'll uh, the cab will rip her in half right so, I, I mean, I don't know. What do you do here, Kayla? If you're, if you're sitting I, there in the passenger seat wearing a mullet, what do you, you do? You know what? I think you have a. But I think you kill him and try to try to try put your foot on the. Brake. Shoot him and try and like dive forward. Yeah, and hit the brake. And try to get hit the brake. Yeah, real quick. Yeah. I mean, like, cause he's gonna. If you don't shoot him, he's gonna kill her anyway. So you might as well take the you chance. Gotta, yeah, on, you got a chance that she. Could, yeah, yeah, that Phil, maybe you, you could save you her. Right. I mean, I, I hundred percent. I mean, the fact that he still lives through the scene is <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I I do love that they didn't make that little encounter longer. Like I could have seen him like saying like, "Do it, do it, do it" for like fifteen minutes, but he's just like, "Shoot me in the head," and he sees he's not gonna do it. And he's like, just looks at him disgusted. He's like, "Jesus Christ!" Okay, rips her in half. Yep. yep. And then cut to cut to them at the at the police station. They've yeah. got the hitcher in custody. And, like, and you don't, don't see, you don't actually see her body or anything. You, they just like you see the engine roar or the gas going. You know, splatter. you know he's going for it. Yeah, you can and, hear like, the, the tightening. No. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, there's a term for it in, in in like film class or whatever, but right, it's, it's called can't... one plus one equals three. They show two things, but the audience uses oh, their imagination yeah. to fill in the third, and right, that's right. kind of what Cameron was talking about the other day. That's what you're talking about now. Mm -hmm. And they just, they do it. Like, this is the best example I could think of, of where that just works yeah. perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it did. So it's like, I definitely felt like she got ripped in half right there. Okay. So we're, we're, I mean, a lot of these movies from back in the day don't end like this. So it was kind of like a really surprising ending. I feel yeah. like when no one ever, ever saw it coming, especially me. Oh my God. <laughs> so the one of the police officers and I only noticed this when we watched it Tuesday or yesterday last night is the principal from Buffy the Vampire Slayer the series just got to point that out right there oh. shout out shout out to the principal mm. 
I I I I'm, guess she's probably right. I I wouldn't know. <laughs> I mean, I actually watched like three seasons of Buffy like last month, so she's she's right. Okay, do you want to join us on Wednesdays for our Buffy review panel? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> yes. I would fucking love that shit. Yeah, like uh, it. But we just review the movie and that's it every Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the interrogation, they're not getting any info from Hitcher. He's you know fucking around with them, and the kid's like, let me take a crack at him. And they're like, okay, let the kid have a shot. That's probably legal. <laughs> the kid That's walks standard in. standard police practice. Yeah. Let kid walks in, him, gives him a him. big, dirty look, like big tough guy, like, Ooh, and then hawks a giant loogie in his face. <laughs> and the guy just, the uh, hitcher just loves it. He's like, yeah, good. I'm getting through to him or something. I don't know. <laughs> so they go, they do a police escort. They put Hitcher in a uh, uh, in a prison bus, and they chain him down real good. And the and the prison guards, the cops, are taking this ride very seriously. They're not playing <laughs> cards or nothing. They're they don't have their guns unbuckled. It's not going to be easy for Hitcher to escape at all. And meanwhile, the other cop takes Jim somewhere. I don't know. I they're don't going know. somewhere else. And he's like, "Wait a minute, I got a bad feeling. My Hitcher sense is going off." Yeah, they're never going to hold him. It's tricky. What yeah, do you do in this situation? Being... You're about to get away from this killer. Maybe. You 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 put a gun in the in this cop's face, tell him to get out, and you take it, you take his car to go for a final confrontation with the guy who's been harassing you I all mean, night. I mean, that's extremely unrealistic. I mean, you did just but... kill his girl that you know he had, you know, a scene for <laughs> that he's known 10 for minutes with. Several not hours. even 24 hours. <laughs> I I don't even think he doesn't even seem all that broken up about the girl. He's just like this guy fucking like he smoked a cigarette in my car and, or he wouldn't get out of my car. That what or what else did he do? I killed some fan. What I we whatever. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go be the hero. <laughs> no, this is uh, this 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 made me cringe because like. Was that the actual ending? Was that the ending the way it was supposed to be? Did they rewrite it? Did somebody, some producer come in and be like, you know what? We got to make sure that the that he gets killed somehow. And uh, of course, our hero. I don't know why this kid would be our hero. He's just the main character. Mm-hmm. Well, not the titular okay, well. character, but uh, like, why why did it? Why did he have to kill him? Why couldn't the cops have just like, oh, he re- reached for the gun and he killed him, and it's, he's dead, and maybe the body disappears, and he's like, oh, is he dead? He was the final guy. I don't know. It just it just feels it does, like it, it, you know what now that you talk about it, it does seem like something a producer would come up with and be like, you know, we should have Jim Jim kill the hitcher, right? Here's, like, here's if I if I had to guess, I would say that that was not the original idea. You already mentioned that there was some changes that they made to make. Or oh. who, who mentioned that, Phil or yeah. Kayla? Yeah, to the screenplay. Yeah. So I I would expect that the original screenplay was probably something along the lines of like Halloween, how that ended, where um, they get away, they catch, they sort of capture him, sort of kill him, whatever. But then you know while they're driving away, uh, the radio goes off, and they're like, everyone get down to here, because and then when they when they drive over there, they see the bus is on the side of the road, just like all the other cars are on the side of the road. Everyone's dead inside, and the hitcher's nowhere to be found. End. Mm. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Instead, of, oh, the cops are playing cards and watching each other to, like jack off and whatever. <laughs> yeah, this guy's not he's not dangerous. You see, in like in like that right there, where it cut, yeah, where it showed the cops playing cards, and and then it just cuts to black. I thought that was a Sopranos esque finale type of ending <laughs> where they're just like, oh, what's gonna happen? Well, you know what's gonna happen. He's gonna fucking kill him and get out. <laughs> it's realistic to believe. That he somehow kills all the cops and gets yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. Not realistic to believe that the kid but. actually turns around and has to finish the job. Yeah. I can even believe that the that the hitcher's like, yo, I, I, I still want you to kill me. Here's a gun. Here's another gun. Come on. Come on. Like I can I I believe his his insanity. Mm-hmm. I just don't believe this fucking little pussy is gonna go back in a cop car <laughs> that he stole and fucking shoot this guy. <laughs> no. No deal. So that concludes the movie. The hitcher dies. Yeah, he gets run over by Jim, and then Jim doesn't shoot him in the face with a shotgun. He waits until 
just show that scene. I mean, yeah. it's like it's the he the gets hit. By, he gets hit with the car. It's a stereotypical ending to a horror movie where it's like, oh, the guy's dead. We we kick him a couple of times to make sure he's dead, and like, yeah, we got nothing to worry about. We're gonna turn our backs, and he gets up. He gets up behind them, you know. Yeah, and now he's 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 at the tipping point. He's like, I've just had enough. I'm not gonna give you eleven or twelve more chances. To <laughs> I'll find, my and now I finally request. shoot I'm, you yeah, like I should. No nonsense. Okay, fine. Pow, pow, pow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Finally, dude, this movie would have been an hour and a half shorter if you just did what I did and just backed that car up at the beginning three or four times. <laughs> Everyone right would have been now. happy. Hitcher would have been happy. The kid Na- would have been happy. Nash would have been alive. Nash would have been in, way in happier piece, yeah. and alive. Yep. She would have gave that finger to someone else, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's if no. That's if anyone shows up at that fucking nasty ass diner. <laughs> small so, businesses support so, small businesses. By the way, <laughs> <Support. laughs> this Earl's Diner needs a, needs a, another bailout. Okay, great. Maybe you should clean the deep fryers. There's fucking body parts in it, Earl. You piece of shit. <laughs> but movie's over, and look at that! Look at that scene right there. That's a good we scene. See, yeah, it's it beautiful. is great. We see some I, character growth. He's got some more confidence. He's smoking cigarettes outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's so overall, it was a it was a great movie. Uh, I I do feel like like there's a lot of flaws with it that are a little more obvious now yeah yeah back but, in the day it was a terrifying movie yeah you're right I, I, i'm saying it was still scary like the performance uh rucker howard's performance is oh he was great mm-hmm. outstanding yeah. and like like even 30 some years later i'm still like it, it still is fucking very convincing and um i mean the other guy i'm very okay. surprised you never watched this before actually yeah I had an interesting history with horror movies when I was a kid. I really liked them. I got into like Nightmare on Elm Street and like what once a week we were allowed to go like parents would take us to Blockbuster and they were like you can pick out a movie so you can watch it over the weekend and and Oh my god, I love this story, Phil, because you know I love Nightmare on Elm Street. Have you seen but... Nightmare on Elm Street, Phil? Any of them? Yeah, I love Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, you might you might recall this scene. Now, I didn't actually understand this until Kayla until I told <laughs> Kayla this story. So, uh, you know, my dad is a crazy psychopath, racist asshole, loser. Uh, he often would <laughs> yell about stuff that I didn't understand because he assumed that I understood and was in fact smarter than him about something and was trying to make him look like a fool. Which, when I was like ten, was certainly not the case. But. Uh, what we we were allowed to go see horror well not horror we were allowed to go uh, to Blockbuster and look for the movies and pick something out and we could watch it that weekend and that was very fun for me and I picked out Nightmare on Elm Street 1 watched it Nightmare on Elm Street 2 watched it I don't know if I got to Nightmare on Elm Street 3 or if it was 3 when the incident happened but no it was 2 it was 2 yeah it was I two. do remember watching Nightmare on Elm Street 2 Oh, two was when the scene, right? Yeah. That's okay, the scene. so I watched Nightmare on Elm Street two, and then the next week, when I went to go get Nightmare on Elm Street three, because of course Blockbuster has them all in a row, and I'm like, oh. wow. Yeah. Just like with the Planet of the Apes movies, I'm like, dude, there's like six of them. I'll get this one, and <laughs> I never got, yeah, I never got yelled at for Planet of the Apes, but when I went to go, uh, you know, I picked out Nightmare on Elm Street three, and I said, yeah, I want this one, and my dad looks at it, looks at me. And he's like, how about instead of watching this movie this weekend, we can just go take a bird, put it in an envelope, and light it on fire. <laughs> and what? when I told that story to Kayla, she reminded me that there's a scene where, uh, like, in the dream, there's a bird that is, like, on fire and explodes or something. Yeah. I Listen, when I say I watched these movies as a kid, I barely watched them. They were just on. I wasn't paying attention to a damn thing. I did not know there was a bird that was on fire at all until Kayla told me 20 <laughs> fucking years later. But it's so hilarious that that's what got him because that movie is so, like, there's so many, like, homosexual undertones to that movie. Um, and, like, they go to, like, a bondage, like, uh, nightclub I don't remember any of this. type thing. Yeah, but he, he, the scene he focuses on is, like, the spontaneous combustion of a tiny bird, like a pet bird, you know? Yeah. Like, 
And, I, and I'm like, did I watch it with dad? Or like, I, 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 I remember talking to my mom about it. Mom definitely didn't watch it. And I was just like, what, what did I'm a bird? Like, did I do something like, wrong? She's like, like, no, you'd be your more dad's just, of, sorry. She's like, no, your dad's just uh, crazy. He just gets mad about stuff. I don't even know. <laughs> it seems like you would have been more upset about like the gay stuff more than the bird. But that, yeah. <laughs> and, and I get that. Cause if I would have seen that gay stuff, I would definitely be gay today. And that's something a father <laughs> should be offend, should be upset about letting his son watch something that could turn him gay. <laughs> so, I mean, but I mean, tell you the truth i'm really i mean i don't know if you have now but have you watched the third one yet oh god no it, it might have been on and i might have been somewhat aware of it being on but like i wasn't allowed to watch horror movies after that and keep in mind because like i was a lot like my dad took my brother and i like to several r-rated horror movies because he wanted to go see it and bring us with him and that was never a problem mm -hmm. but i want to watch nightmare on elm street and we got to talk about lighting birds on fire or some shit like what the fuck <laughs> the <laughs> third one is my favorite one out of all of them <laughs> kayla uh not my favorite but it's one of the top five but you know okay but here's the thing um it's just so f the, the third one street, if i'm correct that's the kayla's been watching it like the whole time we've been together <laughs> while the first and second i don't know I, i've seen you watch the first one several times oh yeah i well, I, I and probably it is watched... not good I probably watch. Shut up! It is. Oh, classic. I love the first one. Really? I actually, I I got her a hat. Yeah, oh. I still have it. Yeah. Oh, that's I, nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you didn't realize it was a Nightmare on Elm Street hat. It's that one. I don't really pay attention to a lot of things. It's that red and green one, the the winter like beanie one. Then, but anyway. Oh, a beanie um, hat. Um, okay. I mean, I've I always I watch all of them a lot over the years. I mean, I haven't watched them recently in a, in a while but like i have been thinking of every halloween it, i always but... put them on for some reason yeah yeah nostalgia uh, sure but like my favorite is the first one and then new nightmare is like my yeah she one. watches new nightmare yeah, like every new other nightmare day is great and i made you watch new nightmare and you actually <laughs> it is really that. good yeah. they like i, I changed I it up and made it, it great yeah. yeah so that I think that's going to wrap things up on our review of the Nightmare on Elm Street series. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Be sure to buy, check out that merch. Um, well, I we mean, everyone, merch? everyone, I didn't ask everyone, like, what their favorite parts were and if they liked it, but I know everyone liked the movie. It was oh, favorites, yeah. childhood favorites to you, and I, I definitely liked the movie despite its flaws. Did you have a, did you have a favorite part, Kayla, that you well, want to? Yeah, it's the Nash scene. Where, part, where she yeah. rips apart. Right. It's ripped. Yeah. Phil? Uh, my favorite part. scene is definitely the part where um, Nash was the killer the entire time. But in, <laughs> yeah, that was. I, the post I hope you guys, scene. when you guys do watch this, you actually understand where I'm coming from. And if you watch the Hitcher, pay really attention, and you'll you'll see where I'm coming from. Yeah, I I'm, I'm with you. I think you're absolutely right. I or or I mean I'm saying like it's it's up to you to decide. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. They both got what they wanted. Yeah, they both I got killed. I don't, I don't think Nash was the killer, but... Well, agree with this. Rewatch it. <laughs> Hashtag Nash was the killer. All right. Everyone, stay tuned for... What, what's the next movie we're doing? Dead Alive. Dead Alive. <laughs>